Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is going on? NDB cast, man. I'm Nico. Dawson. Brian. Yeah, man. So, uh, so I'm, uh, damn. Goofy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, as Nico said, this is NDB cast. Um, I guess we're just going to start off with a little bit of intros. Um, so I'll start. Uh, I currently go to UTA and do computer science. Um, I have my own YouTube channel, you know, check it out, Life by Brian. Um, oh. but, um, uh, not much going on. Also a soccer trainer and stuff like that, so soccer is a big part of my life. Music, you know, stuff like that, but we won't go into too much detail. Are we plugging or introducing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, we got a... Wow. Oh, it's me. Uh, hey, man. Shit. Uh, I'm almost done with school. I'm about to go into my fire academy, and then other than that, I should be chilling. So I also go to UTA, um, business management, you know, just be doing my thing, chilling, school, learning new skills, that's about it. So yeah. Right. So uh, what, what, in, why do we want to do this? What is, what is our, what is our inspiration here, man? Um, to be honest, I don't really have a major inspiration to do this. Honestly, like once the idea came up, came up with the three of us, I was just like, I feel like it'd just be a dope idea to talk. Literally, just talk. Cause I mean, we just we just like talk about shit for like hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, might as well record it. Yeah. So I mean, dope idea. You know, like at the end of the day, if it blows up, it blows up. If it doesn't, like it's still a cool experience. Yeah. So I mean, no huge inspiration. It's just like cool talking with friends. So yeah, like you said, we just decided to record it. Hmm. Awesome. It's your inspiration here, man. Oh, like, you want to dive into this? Cause I always like. Wanted to do like YouTube and stuff, and I figured we just since we talk for like anytime we hang out, we just talk about stuff for like a while. Plus yeah. we all have like different ideas about everything, like music, and whatever shows. So might as well just record it, and mm -hmm. see what happens. Dude, yeah. So we had the idea. I forgot what what, what it was. <laughs> what was the idea? We just. Started. It was started like, it. We just wanted to start doing it. We were just gonna. I think we talked about like YouTube and stuff at first. Mm -hmm. Me and you, you talked about like fitness YouTube and stuff yeah. for a while. And then randomly, we were just talking. I'm pretty sure we just said, "Let's make a podcast." <coughs> and yeah, like some night we were just talking till three, four a.m. And I was, I told Brian in the car, I was like, "Yeah, bro." Pause. What? Hmm? That's <laughs> not <a> pause. <laughs> Every night talking about it. Nah, I just we were like, yeah, man, it's just. It's perfect. Right, keep but yeah, yeah. I mean, I like watching like Joe Rogan and shit, man. That's like, I think that's like the top podcast. Mm -hmm. Like that's like, I don't know. That also is like some inspiration. We all be watching. I don't really watch podcasts, but some sometimes like depending on the guest, Logan Paul's podcast is kind of funny. <sighs> like he, I mean, yeah. he knows how to get like. But like for some inspirational stuff, like Joe Rogan, some of the people like Kevin Hart, if you watch his podcast. Oh yeah, so like Dude, yeah. podcast. Really? Dude, he gets like the smartest people on there too, bro. Like Yeah, he definitely he gets like more famous people, but stuff. I feel like Logan Paul, he gets more like what's trending now. People mm, yeah, yeah, kinda yeah. wanna listen to like their story. Okay, like so six yeah. nine story, it was Loki. He, he, it was Loki kinda good. Oh you like six nine? I don't like I don't like <laughs> he, he he explained like some true stuff that like mm. people would, like Everybody like awesome. agreed with in their head, just didn't say it out loud. Uh, Most um, people not in this right? situation. Ah, uh, uh, controversial topic, man. I don't know. I don't want to talk. To I don't know enough to like say anything. But it depends. I mean, I don't know. I know enough about the streets, so I'm not even about the parade like I do. That, but yeah, there's some real street people out there. I don't know if everyone knows. <laughs> but um, I watch or listen to. Mallory Bros podcast who they have like a YouTube channel um, which is where I found them and they do like music reviews stuff like that and uh, their podcast is just dope it's like all around just just good good to listen to or good to like hear they give like some real stuff yeah. um, some of the time like if you're like a young man or like blah 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 stuff like that so other than that I don't really listen to anyone else I watched this one on YouTube a couple times um, I forgot the name, maybe the social entertainment or something, something like that. But not too many. Um, and then I'm starting to watch the Jumpers Jump podcast, which Dawson uh, was talking about. 
But yeah, other than that, not, not too much. I watch a uh, Kick Genius and like Houses. They're, they're not really podcasts. Yeah, but they are a podcast, but yeah. like, I don't know. Same with RDC World. Huh? With their talks, RDC World. Yeah, yeah, they're not really podcasts. Not podcast. I like their app, but they're yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. they're like when they list their like top favorite anime. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. They know a lot about like they, they know like side characters. Dude, and stuff. I don't even that's remember crazy. half the time. So. That's a lot. That's a lot. Don't see that's probably like another like, inspiration right there. Just from them. Yeah, like, facts, 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 facts. Just, yeah, they're and hilarious. They bangers. <laughs> yeah, and they just met Cole and uh, LeBron. LeBron. Dude, how crazy that's gotta is be, that? Like, the greatest feeling, like. To know you really made it, like they made it, but like meeting that person in person, they really mm. get over. Like that's why. Because like different, bro, that's yeah. like the top people they can meet. Because that's most of the video besides like anime, they can't meet anime characters. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah. That's the people like they like they're famous. That's crazy. Of, basically, because oh, and they're nearby. I know. Because they definitely yeah. are most famous from their LeBron and the Flyers oh, yeah, yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true for sure. For sure. So the, the fact that they met them just. From yeah. And like, yeah, bro, and like LeBron's just like laughing with them, like, bro, that's literally that's, that's it, crazy. That's man. wild. It's wild. Wow. Cause y'all saw how like when he pulled up, uh, LeBron was saying his video, Dude, bro, where he even asked him about it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah that had to be like, that's like your work being recognized. Yeah. Could yeah. you imagine you just walk up to LeBron and he's saying your content? <laughs> that's crazy. Oh like, my goodness. That's like, crazy. What what are you gonna do back to him? <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> no, no, nah, yeah. man, yeah, but that's, no, they're living, man, that's wild, but yeah, it's dope, because, like you said, they're, like, close by, yeah, they're local, they, man, they're they local. went to UNT, which is, like, I guess, like, an hour from us, yeah, yeah. 45, yeah. 45, yeah. 45, yeah. yeah, so it's, like, dope to see, like, people in, like, our area, like, going big, Dude, stuff yeah. like that, so, same as, like, Berlizzi, well, Berlizzi's not in, he wasn't from our area, I don't know where he's from, Houston, right, oh, is he from Houston? No, he lives in Houston. I, I don't know where he's from, but oh, I okay. know he's lived in Texas for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I think he lived in, didn't he live in like an L.A. type of area for a little bit? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. He might um, he might be from the Bay, I don't know. But, yeah, definitely big inspiration in RDC World, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Who, who, who would y'all say is like, inspiration to you outside of like, podcast, like, style people? Like, if mine, like, for example, me, like, J. Cole, He's like one of my biggest inspirations. Oh, um, what? Just like listen. To just like or his life, because he does yeah, because like yeah, a lot of the music con- musical content is like why so many people love him. Like same as Drake is because like their their content is like specific to like an everyday person. Most of the time, like obviously like money wise, not everyone has the same amount of money. But like Drake, when he's talking about a girl and like how uh, late night this or late night that and you get that text blah 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 like everyone can relate to that or yeah. like whatever and same as Cole like Cole is just like an everyday dude so like what he talks about like you can really connect with so like Cole especially like the Cole documentary that came out when he dropped his album mm-hmm. I don't know if you watched that or not yeah, yeah, when yeah. everybody was like pulling up to the studio yeah, yeah like, that was it was fire like when he said um uh when he was talking to himself and he was like are you content with leaving any creative stone unturned he said to himself no it's like ever since that video i really was like i need to get my creative back so ever since yeah that's when you started like like, your youtube yeah that's when i was like man Mm. that is so right because like i didn't know what to do for a while because after i played soccer i didn't know what to do really so just yeah cole is definitely one of the biggest like day-to-day life inspirations for me from that from that video uh it's always like it's weird to see but it's kind of cool like when like People you see on like YouTube like get like serious or like just on like stuff because like, oh. you would ask them for a picture in there he's like nah bro we're like working right yeah, now. yeah it was yeah, just yeah. weird like seeing like the different people like yeah. I've watched a couple of YouTubers when they just have like serious <coughs> moments yeah. and they're usually like laughing all the time it's yeah. just weird but it's like cool it's, to see at the same time yeah yeah because they're like human like so he told me yeah. to get one of the picture later you just yeah. like, working right, right now yeah. I was, like, it's, that's dope. at the same time like why are you in there like. Like you can fanboy, but like there's like there's like so many yeah. artists around. Around that's for pictures. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. I feel you. I feel you. That's tough. Man, you already know who my inspiration is. Man, the goat, Muhammad Ali. Yeah, has to be. Yeah, he's like probably to be like the only person that I've really seen that like really makes like the impossible like possible. Like bro, that's just like so motivating. Like whenever like I feel like I can't do something, bro. Like. I'm, like yeah. He, he's human like me, yeah. so he did it, like, you know? Yeah. What's stopping me, so... I mean, yeah, bro. He's always had, like, odds against him. Mm-hmm. Facts. So facts. Always, he always does it, so that's, that's definitely, like, 
Yeah, pushing me, man. Yeah. I mean, there's like definitely a lot of other people, but he's like, he's the main one. Yeah. Yeah. He's the main role model. I don't really have like one role model because I do like a whole bunch of just different stuff. So I'll have role models in like them little like. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Like when I want to like stream or something. I kind of I like I like I take inspiration from like Real Easy. Yep. And then also just for like YouTube videos, cause he just takes his stream highlights and puts it on YouTube. And I want to yep. do something like that, or just like I don't know. Or if I somebody bigger than that though. That's what I'm saying. Like there's nobody for, like there's not like a I don't think yeah. I can't name just a famous firefighter. I just <laughs> not be a firefighter. That's what I'm saying. But I don't, I don't like. I don't know, I don't really follow too many like, celebrities on social yep. media. Like, so. yeah. Same, like, I, when I say, like, okay. inspiration, like, I get inspiration from a lot of people, but, like, yeah. one thing I don't do is, like, idolize people. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like that's, like, For sure. it'll just lead you down. Like, people that follow celebrities' life, like, you know what they're the, doing 24-7 is Plus, their, their Instagrams aren't, like, all that they're going through. So yeah, exactly. You're just seeing the highlights. Text. That's yeah, what, like, social media's like, a highlight real man. Like, Kanye West... Like I'm, I'm a music head, and like Kanye West is probably like one of my favorite um, artists, like along with Kendrick. But like Kanye, since I was a kid, is like one of like the biggest like people that have been in my life. Same as Kobe. But like to say like I couldn't sit around like idolize Kanye because that's just, yeah like, yeah you know how I go. So like I would never idolize someone because like like. Uh, Nico said, like, Every new syllable could set off a stuttering spasm. <laughs> Social media is like a, a highlight reel. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, a lot of it's just like fake and not good to look at. And so like, especially like with younger kids, when all they see is social, when they're only on social media, they're like, oh, I want to do this. I wanna, yeah. Or I wanna they're do always this. like comparing themselves yeah, with yeah, other yeah. people. It's, it's just not, it's not good. Yeah. Life is too different for, <clears throat> in everyone's life. Yeah. To, you know. Like there's definitely a big difference between like, Chunks, Philly, Hilarious, Harry yeah. Panero, like plus that you can tell they have like a true YouTube friendship, bro, or just like friendship, oh, bro, literally too. Like, yeah, because most people seem like like Jay Jones and Trey, like you can tell they're real. Yeah, 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 for sure. And like like RDC one, you can tell they're real, but yeah. their friendship seems like so Chunks and Philly, bro, literally yeah. Philly. I just saw the video. Like Philly got Chunks like a birthday bracelet for mm -hmm. um, two years ago, and he literally wears it every day. Like that is like a real brotherhood, brother. Like one's mm -hmm. from. Like, for the longest, I thought they're from like the same country. Did you? Until I figured out like one's Colombian. I think Philly's Colombian. Oh yeah. I think like Felipe. I'm Colombian and Cuban. Um, huh? Not just. You're just both. Yeah, I'm Colombian and Cuban. Yeah, you knew that. I did. <laughs> did you see the video where like uh, Philly they got like kind of deep where he was talking about like chunks will turn down some stuff that they have together just so Philly can get. Yeah, yeah, money. yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. It's just a brother. But uh, like, chunks is definitely the most famous one. And I like. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. I just started, so he's an inspiration, bro. Have you seen like his weight loss, like journey thing? People were saying he, he lost weight. I, I just started watching him, so I it, he just looks. Yeah, he was way. When way, I first first yeah. him, like way back, like I knew he was kind of bigger, but I didn't know he was until he put like a side by side. Yeah, I was bro. like, I don't remember him being that big. Mm -hmm. Like he lost a bunch of weight. Like like his new nickname was like like Slims or like Shrunks, something something like that. <laughs> but, like, Sun chunks. Sun chunks. It has to be the chunks. chunks. It's kind of wild. It, 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 it's fitting. He's just like, oh, he's definitely his person too. He's just an all around like good, like good person. Like mm -hmm. definitely, definitely. I, was, I don't know why I was listening to music when I was showering, and I was thinking, what well, like y'all? Would y'all say are like the best like features for certain rappers? Like who would you say like Kendrick's best feature? Like best person that could go with him is just for like different rappers. I don't know why I was thinking about this, mm -hmm. but I just want to talk about it on the podcast. Right, oh, so that's, kind of, that's kind of a weird. I wouldn't say like, I don't like for me for like Kendrick. I feel like Schoolboy Q fits him. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they oh, got yeah, the TV chemistry. Nice. So they I want to say like, Drake and Future, but I don't know. I feel like some. I feel like somebody could fit like Drake better, or somebody could fit Future better. Because you know that that just sounds like a good duo. Just because they, they do haven't messed with their with their yeah. with yeah. any of their like yeah. Well, I just because I. Was Sitting, you know, Schoolboy Q song came on and I was like, I don't know why it just went through my head. I was like, we should just talk about like people who fit like yeah. Like personally for like uh, J Cole, I feel like Jid is the only person who can keep up with him really like that on a song and like. I think so. I think like 
But you know more about Jaden than them, so you probably. Uh, I, know. I feel like a lot of artists now are like really versatile. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, like Lil Baby. Baby, oh my God. Baby. 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 Like, uh, originally I didn't really like him until like I really started listening more to his content. Mm -hmm. He fits really well with like a lot of artists. Yeah. Um, Boz fits really well. He has like a wide range of like sound. Boz. Boz. Uh, did you hear the new song Jackie they put up? J. Cole, oh really? Mm -hmm. Boz made a, you've heard Tribe? Um, I think I made it. Oh yeah. Yeah, so Boz, that's Boz. Um, he fits really well, Jid really well, Smino. Mm -hmm. Do you know who Smino? I probably have heard of him. Yeah, yeah, I don't really listen song. to their group that much. Yeah. I'll listen to mostly Jid, then J. Cole, yeah. and then if they just have featured. Yeah. Do. I don't know. That's a tough question, because like, who do you think? Who do you it need to have been an answer to this question, but uh, who, who do you think fits Frank Ocean the best? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like it'd be like a girl R&B artist. Yeah, yeah. Frank Ocean and Tyler together are maybe, cool. maybe Tyler. I love yeah, Tyler. Tyler. Oh, his new album, did you hear it? Mm -hmm. oh. Honestly, you think he's the best? That might be my favorite Tyler album. Bro? Flower Boy is literally, I love Flower Boy. I, I feel like Flower Boy, it has like, Three really strong songs, or like three or four. Yeah, I feel like this one's just better. Bro, from start to finish, I was like. That's kind of how the new J. Cole like, album is. It's like strong overall. Yeah, probably the best, but like the old albums just have like really. They do, yeah, facts, 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 facts. Any right. classical you want to play? <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love the Claw. Yeah, Claw is it's hard still. Push him. Claw. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say that's his best one? Cole? Yeah. I am not one of these niggas banging on J. Cole. Yeah. Jermaine. Yeah. Cole. Uh -huh. Yes. No, I got four guys. Bro. I, I mean, wait. I don't, I don't know. If y'all are saying, uh, people say Friday Night Lights. When I listen to it, it, it didn't really, I don't know if I just missed some songs or if it was just SoundCloud like, sounding bad, but it just didn't sound like there to me yeah. compared to his other albums. Wait, wait. What do you think of this? Is? I think, I mean, f I said four guys only. I meant uh, 2014. Okay. Um, but I do yeah. think Four Hours Only is really underrated. Because it's good, but I think 2014 has to be like, it has to be. Yeah. 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 That's the one we saw in the house. Yeah. 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 Uh, that one, incredible. Like it has so many like storylines. I feel like the storylines like from the songs are probably the best. In, uh, 2014. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, like okay, Love Yours uh, is just that's a masterpiece. Most of the time, like when rappers make like music videos and stuff. Doesn't really fit the song, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like his songs are basically music. That yeah, the videos just go around. Go around. Yeah. Man, cool. Yeah, his best album is probably 2014. Mm -hmm. One time for my LA sisters. One time for my LA hoes. My favorite though is probably Born Center. Mm -hmm. I think that was like the very first. Whole album I heard because Cole like I think the first Cole song I heard was either Workout or Definitely. there was another one because like before school like MTV would have like music videos oh, I forgot what channel so. but Cole came up one day and I think it was Workout it was either that or Power no Power no I can't remember Power Trip I think it was Workout but um <coughs> and I don't know Board Center just has so many like bangers like so many. Like Power Trip, mm -hmm. um, She Knows, Rich. She Knows is hard. Rich That's yeah. my top five. Have you seen a music video to oh that? Oh my god. She Knows? No. Oh, it's such a cheap music video. Really? Yeah. It's it's cold. It's cold. Oh, no, I have, yeah. Yo, I have to see it. Sparks Will Fly. It's not a many. It's too many, too many. But at the same time, 2014 is still cold. Like, Love Yours, No Role Models. <laughs> um, no. That's just crazy. As soon as No Room Model starts, like, you know what time it is. Oh, yeah. That but was, for me, like, I don't know why my Apple Music, it, like, plays the most when I shuffle my song, so it gets repetitive. No Room Like, I, I've been sk I have to skip every time. Yeah, yeah, Always. Yeah. Or no, when, like, you know how, like, if you, you have, like, thousands of songs, but, like, on yeah. Apple Music, if you get to, like, your last song on a playlist, it'll play random music. Yeah, yeah, After yeah. that, like, based on it, it always plays No World Model, so I just constantly hear that. Like, That's, so that it's kind of playing it out for me. I don't, I don't have it downloaded. It just always plays as oh, the first yeah, song. Yeah. I'm like, dang, don't play it out for me. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good song, though. That's the only bad part about finding a new song you really like. 
Yeah, play it out. Play it out. Dude, yeah, I gotta stop. I yeah. stopped doing that. I, I used to do that so much, and I'd like be mad at myself. But now I'm like, I gotta chill. Cause that's like all you listen to for like a week. And I guess just like, I just like in the car. It's the first song I'll put on, and then I'll probably replay it like two times before yeah. I get where I'm at. <laughs> Man, especially on long car trips. Speaking of music, the greatest flow ever. <laughs> I didn't say it was the greatest. Flow the greatest ever. flow ever. Just what was the song name? To my man. What was it called? I don't know you did. <laughs> nah, nah. I was just saying, y'all pick a better flow. I gave you two, you said. Uh, it's just the way they like rolled the beat on that song, man. Get Money just... Bros, Louis Adi. Best flow of all time. Claimed by Dawson. Hell, you want to copyright strike us already on the first job? <laughs> It's uh, just the way. No, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. I love when rappers like switch back and forth, and they did yeah. it perfect. Yeah. Like, to me, they did it perfect on that song. I mean, I know it's like new rap, but oh, I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. It's just I was like, it, I, it really, it wasn't even a little, little bit. It's when T Grizzly came back onto the song each time Lil Yachty after he rapped. Yeah. I was like, oh, he did it. I feel That's fire. Because that's not like the definition of like flow, right? So when I said flow, I meant just like they wrote. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess it would be kind of cool. I don't know. I think you're talking about you're talking about like when they switched, like when they switched. Like yeah, it's just like because that's what like made it the best, like not best, but that's what like I like the song. Yeah. Because when they switch, it just it feels like a drop of a song, but it's yeah. just the middle of the song and they're switching. I yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I see that because like when when Pride of the Devil on the J Cole album was playing, mm -hmm. and then Lil Baby. Yeah. Came oh yeah, that was like was, uh, yeah, was seamlessly. Hard. Yeah, was he, hard, yeah, he just did it with ease. That was hard. But you like there's a, there was all kinds of like reaction videos of like Dude, people like is, going crazy yeah. on that. Is a, is is a, um, baby the first person out rap J Cole on his own song? Dude, he, uh, there was a no, probably not probably not. There's another song that Bobby said that uh, what was his name? I think it was like. Cause? Is, it, is that right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Cause. Dude, on Zendaya? Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Incredible. Zendaya. Dude, yeah, that's obviously so music. No. Are y'all talking about That beat was uh, crazy. Cause. His name is Cause. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, Cause made a song featuring J. Cole. Yeah. And the song was called Zendaya. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's one of my favorite. Uh, like, underrated. This room, this room is crazy. Well, instrumental is beautiful. Right? Beautiful, beautiful. Like, I wrote to that. Like, yeah, it really. was. I've heard it. Incredible, incredible bro. Copyright? No, I said not now. Yeah. Saying, oh, oh man, man, you gotta listen to it. Oh, oh yeah, that song is good. Yeah. Wait, 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 would you say that cause? Uh, uh, would you say that cause like amazing. body J Cole? Body not. Body, body not. But, no. like, but I okay. liked his verse better. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Does I J Cole know. just bring out like the best in people he raps with? Because <laughs> he had Twenty One Savage. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. I got. Like, that's my favorite. Like J Cole, like bars. I guess is a uh, a lot. That's yeah, like, that's my favorite. Like, like, like your favorite like, bar verse. Like, yeah. Just like. That? Oh, it's just a thing for the tripod. Uh, it was just floating around. So. My, I mean, bro, when you're my bad. No, you're not. You. Be. Okay, I was gonna say like, because uh, Dustin uh, said you think like he brings the best up you, bro. Like when you're like going on the track, J. yeah, Cole, yeah. Jermaine, yeah, Cole, yes, yeah, who's yeah. like arguably like one of the best, yeah, like of our generation. Bro, you gotta, you gotta like have your best right. lines right. like written there. Y'all think J. Cole's helping them with like bars and stuff? No, 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 that's not how it works. Uh, no, you know what? Bro, well, 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 Twenty One Savage just started. <laughs> Honestly, straight. No way. He, he just brought that out of his bag. He not. I, I don't think so, bro. I mean, it's not like a diss. He's just helping, like. Nah. You see, the thing is, like, it. it so, like, it, that's obviously like frowned upon. You're right. Okay, easily, the climb back to me. Yeah. That he should have waited like, to release that song. That was peak. That's I'm peak Cole. That's peak Cole. That's peak hip, hip hop. If I'm being honest, like really. <clears throat> the thing is, okay, so I had this conversation with Mike, not Mike, Matt. Matt. Um, like Cole saying, no disrespect. Okay, I love Cole, right? Mm -hmm. Cole saying he's on the throne. I don't really have a problem with Cole saying he's on the throne because Kendrick hasn't like Kendrick hasn't dropped in ages, <laughs> or like like him saying he's a goat because I mean even like Logic says he's a goat. As a rapper, you want to have like confidence. Stuff. Yeah. I think what me is like Cole's freaking incredible, right? Mm -hmm. And um, people putting him in like the same like tier as Kendrick just never makes sense to me. 
because like I know Cole can rap like for real because the comeback is one of the best like hip hop songs I've ever heard. Like it's just straight bars the whole like, and they're like crazy but like double entendre flips, uh, letter like syllables like yeah. everything's crazy. Yeah. So like, but the thing with me is like, for Cole to be considered in Kendrick's tier like, he doesn't have many songs like that mm -hmm. where he's just like, let me show you like I can rap yeah. like for real yeah. where like. All of like T Pap, Kendrick's T Pap, is him showing you he's just ridiculous. Like, yeah. All of GKMC is Kendrick showing you like he's just like ridic ridiculous. So J. Cole sucks. So Because, like, that would have been crazy for a first. Think about hearing the album. That would have been yeah. Yeah. It would have. You're right. I don't. And that was like one of the last songs on. Like, it was like seven or six, seven. Yeah, I think it was seven. Imagine that being at the end of the album. And right. We like go through and that they, album. Yeah, that was the last song. Because when we were all listening to the thing, we we're just like, oh, okay, the songs are kind of getting, yeah, you know, whatever. And then that song just comes on. Yeah, oh, yeah. this might be top. <laughs> I think only because like nostalgia and like emotion. I think Born Center will always be my favorite because that was like the first. Like cool album I was like introduced to. Yeah. Um, I think I don't know, bro. I think like his best album was definitely 2014. Then, then probably Born Sinner or Four Hours Only. If someone said Four Hours Only, I could see why because like, I think that's like I don't want to misrepresent, but I think that's Bobby's favorite. Four Hours Only. Yeah. Either Bobby or Mike. People honestly don't. People don't. People didn't understand what the album was about, and so I think they didn't completely get like why he made the album. It was like one of his friends. One of his, I think. I think uh, I don't know if you just call this, but one of his friends, like boys, I think passed away, and I think. Yeah, I think one of his boys passed away, and I think he was writing the album from his friend's daughter's point of view. And so it was called For Your Eyes Only. And so I'm pretty sure like that entire album was like dedicated to yeah. like, his friend's daughter. Uh, so like it, it kind of just seems like like a we like a like a weird set of like songs, but like the meaning behind it is like freaking great, like incredible. Yeah, like the album is really good. Yeah. Um, but I don't fault people for like not necessarily liking the album. Too. Mm. It's not for everyone. Yeah, it's not. It's not, it's not for everyone. Yeah, no. Nah. Did you see how Kanye had his, like, what was it, uh, music, what was it called, album, when they, like, the, 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 whole, the whole thing, with the stadium thing, everybody, the, oh, yeah, the yeah, the lot, did you see, like, what he did with the stadium? Because his mom passed away, so he opened the, he open. the stadium so she could watch Was that actually true? I just saw that mm -hmm. online. But I, I think so. Oh, my God. Unless somebody just super photoshopped a picture of an open stadium. I mean, but I'm just saying, is that, like, the reason the stadium was open? I mean, Kanye would do that. I mean, he would do that, but like, just because people say on social media. I don't <laughs> trust it. No, so no, they could just be saying People that. are saying he might not release the album, but no way he did all of this. And no, no, no. If, honestly, if he did, okay. First of all, he did all that and still didn't release it at 11 p.m., number one. So, I mean, like, all them features. why? But, um, two, like, I saw Peter Rosenberg, who's like, I think he does, like, he has a YouTube where he like invites rappers on and stuff. Uh -huh. He was like, he heard Kanye's, he heard Donda, and it was like completely unfinished. Like some, I think I don't know if Kanye played on Donda, and it was like completely unfinished. Was this a while ago? No, he tweeted yesterday, and uh -huh. um, then he said like he heard Isaiah Rashad's album, and it's like completely finished. Like the whole body work is finished. So I think I don't even know if Kanye's gonna drop it soon because like people were a bunch of people were saying yeah the album's like unfinished. Oh, he has like an album because it's Kanye. Party. He's just weird. Kanye doesn't know. care about it. <laughs> Kanye's just a weird like he, yeah. he just doesn't care. What's your expectations for it though? With all the features on it? Top 3? Kanye album? No. No. Whoa. 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 Relax. 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 Kanye's top 3 albums. Like I heard the snippet of that one song. If you could on TikTok. Like a snippet of the song it sounds amazing. I forgot who's on who's it's like starts off with like Ty Dolla Sign. It doesn't sound like Ty Dolla Sign at all, but it kind of does. But you're like this guy like can sing really feature good. bodies. 
true. Every I don't, if that's true, how are you gonna say it can't be tough? It can't. Dude, because like nothing. Bro, his, album, his top three albums are like there's no top tier alive right now that touches Kanye's top three albums. Think so? There's not. There's not. Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean. Uh, okay. No. No. <laughs> What's that album? Blonde. But stupid. Like, with with stupid. Kanye, like his albums, like. It's always just a couple songs on there that are really good. No! Whoa! He, he has an album. Oh my god! Wow! No. All good songs on there? Yes. He has multiple albums. Multiple albums. <laughs> like all good songs. Of the album. <laughs> yeah. I think my just graduation has a bad song. Fantasy? Bro. I don't think graduation has a bad song. Graduation, my good production is fantasy. Late registration. Yeah, those are all all good songs. Those are my top three kind of albums. People like college dropout more. I love those. Dude, nothing like. Yeah, you're bugging. Yeah. I was, I was just asking. No, yeah. I, uh, I, I, like, no artist right now is touching Kanye's top three albums. Hmm. Kanye would literally have to drop basically the best thing he's ever played. Yeah. And it's just not. It's I don't see it's, it happening. Yeah. I, I think it'll be great. I think the album will be great. But like, those are like little three tens. Like. Yeah. So yeah. it's Kanye top five. Top five. No. No, he's not even top ten. That's the thing though, rap, not rappers, like, he's one of the greatest artists, greatest, greatest artists I've ever listened to. He's obviously like one of my favorites. So how, yeah. if he's one of the greatest artists, how would he not be top five rappers? Because he's But would you like, put Drake as a top five rapper? No, he can't. Exactly. He's he not can't do that. that. Like, he's yeah. not, he's not. Uh, that's the thing, because like. But wouldn't you say being, wouldn't you say it would be a greater, like, feat? Top five artists in the top. Oh, for five sure. Five. Oh, yeah. But Kanye's not even close to being the top five artists. Not even close. Who's your top five artists? And you said you pulled us. You're gonna say Frank Sinatra, <laughs> Billy Weinstein, like. Who's really going? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Seven Batman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't even. We don't get into that right now. I can't even. But I'm just saying, Kanye is not even touching. Like he's not even on the same level tier. Not same realm as kind of as like somebody like. The Beatles or like Michael Jackson, he's not in the same realm as them. I'm sorry, he's not. He comes out with great music, but bro, and they, that's like legendary go status. Like Kanye, he will be talked about for sure. He, but he, is he MJ level? No. But he in 50 years, people will be talking about. Kanye. I don't. Well, I don't know. What was he ten? Really? A hundred percent? I don't know how. Like, like Kanye is literally like the industry, like himself, like not only like. His music, like you think he's ever Drake in the industry? No, I'm saying like I'm saying like Drake. I think Drake has a better chance of being talked about. Okay, later Drake. On. Okay, like this is what I'm saying. There's more to like you as an artist or like as a rapper than just like what your albums are. Like Kanye is like like I don't even know. Like y'all know Kanye like the artist. Y'all don't know Kanye like the producer. Like songs he's oh, yeah, the produced, yeah, it's alone, crazy. That discography is still like out of this world. Like, he's more than just like, this is like my body of work, this is my album, like listen to this. Like mm. he's great like he's crazy. And obviously Drake is still stupid as well. Like yeah. what he's done is like ridiculous. But like Kanye is on like he could be on like hip hop like Mount Rushmore. Like He's. No, I don't agree with that one at all. No, maybe not top four, but like. No, but I don't think he would be on the, the Mount Rushmore he's, rap. I don't think so at all. Not of rap, but like. Okay, pop now. If you were to make like. Who? Best hip hop like artist within the genre of all time, and Kanye is not like close to like. I'm not saying he's top four. You gotta think about the stuff he does in like real life too. Like his clothing brand, he's definitely the most famous clothing brand. Like, right? like hip hop is more than like just your like just your music. Yeah. Like, just like, yeah. Like his brand as like a hip hop like entity is like it's not big, many yeah. artists like do that like it's crazy. Okay, when you put it like that, I could. <sighs> okay, I can see us talking about him or like you know I can see like people talking about him like fifty years from now, but I don't think he will be like. I don't know, but like right now the way I see it, I don't think he would be talked about like somebody like the Beatles or like Michael Jackson is talked about now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, who do you think from this generation? Do you think anyone from this generation? I mean, probably like Drake's the closest thing I could think. But we really don't know. No, we don't. We don't. We don't know, but like I'd say the closest thing we would have is probably Drake, just because he's just, you know, he gets in. 
incredible sales. Most people really don't talk about anybody. From see, and that's the thing though. Like, though, either. Right? See, and that's the thing. So you oh, said, you're telling me when you were in elementary school, every morning they were playing the Beatles in your classroom? No, sir. Here comes. <laughs> Classroom now, oh, elementary school. My teacher said. No one was playing the Beatles. What? Oh, Brian. I'm not gonna lie. They Come probably on. played classical before the Beatles. Nico, what song? Here comes the sun. Oh, come on now. Everybody knows that. Bro, like, every day in elementary school. See? I'm not saying. <laughs> Same yeah, bro, Miss Wilson definitely like played some Beatles. That was definitely just your teacher. Yeah, it man. was though. Dude, I saw no, a tweet about it. Bro. I saw a tweet about it. It had likes. Like you said, Twitter, Twitter is not. What? Now you're gonna. Okay. Yeah, I've heard Michael Jackson in my classroom. You think Miss Elliot in fourth grade was playing? Dude, I swear she I heard it. Us. And I've seen people like talk about it. So, bro, it's a thing. It's a thing. I'm not saying it wasn't, but I don't remember that. I feel like I remember. Here comes the sun, though. Wait, hold on. Paul McCartney is still selling out stadiums to this day. What's that reason? He's a Beatle. Uh huh. But like, yeah. Let's be honest. It's probably the same older people that were listening to him back then. My cousin went to the concert. She's eighteen. Nineteen. Dang, she's really? old. This is good enough. You ready? Yeah. Look. Yeah, you're twenty. Camera keeps dying. Probably just gonna wrap things up here, man. Yep, yep, yep. Um, we're gonna definitely get some upgrades going. Try to get better. Get an actual video recording camera. For sure. Stuff to where we can all have mics, cause it does help. Yeah. For sure. Probably yeah. just stuff for the setup. Actual chairs. Looks better. Yeah. Good Once we reach uh, 100,000 likes, we'll come out part two. That's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Shout out to Do the it. 12 viewers that are trying to watch this. Yes, yeah. sir. It's going to be three. That's three. <laughs> That's three, four times. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, Maybe an occasional Mike or Bobby will come through. Oh, you're right. Mike, Bobby, if you actually did watch the end, comment down below uh, yep. that you like Ryan's bucket hat. No. Out. Yeah, yes. I just thought, you know, something was... Nah. Okay, it's cool, though. Um... No, but so yeah, Mike, Bobby will know your snakes if you actually yeah. don't comment about Ryan's book of that. Uh, so, <laughs> good pilot episode. But yeah, uh, and then wrap it up there. It's been NDB. It's, oh, it's, it's been NDB. Oh, that's yeah. good. Don't even. Right, right. How do you come up with that? Cut that out. No, no, no. You want my dog, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's press the, the, like, you see the recording thing? Yeah. Okay.